First Civil War going to be like? Uh, definitely a great experience. I mean, just growing up watching it uh, on TV all the time. You know, fans from Oregon State or Oregon, you know, just to play in front of a crowd like this is going to be great. Do you feel like you guys have been able to focus pretty well in terms of the Oregon State's 0-4? Do you feel like you guys have kind of taken each opponent, whether um, you're not looking, kind of overlooking? Definitely. I mean, we take away their best uh, aspects in how they play. They got great talent. They're young. You know, we got to come ready to play. That'd be great. Hey, you guys have been able Peyton, as someone who's grown up in Oregon, what, what does this rivalry mean to you? Um, means a lot, you know, just, you know, growing up as kids, either you're Oregon State, Oregon, there's no in-between, so just to go against that and see how everybody comes out and cheers and all that, it's going to be great. Do your family have a strong rooting interest when you're growing up? Um, a lot of my family's from Oklahoma, so my parents went to Oklahoma, so they weren't really a part of that, so... You guys have had, you know, three different guys score 25 plus points in so many games for you. What does it say about this team that you guys can have pretty much anyone go off on this team? Uh, makes us really dangerous. You know, it just makes my job easier as a point guard. Uh, but we have some great shooters. Great, just we're really well-rounded as a team. So teams can't really just pick on one player to just take away. You know, they got to take away all of us. Was there any certain lessons you guys took away from those Washington wins? Um, you know, just that, you know, Washington, we kind of start, Washington State, we started off slow. We can't, we can't have that, um, you know, against a team like Cal or coming up, or even Oregon State. You know, we go out slow, we go down and hurt us in that. When Tyler and, and Chris are hot like that this, this past weekend, how do you, as a team, are you guys aware of that and funnel the ball to oh, them just to let them keep going? For sure. I mean, you know, when somebody's hot like that on this team, we got to keep feeding the ball. Every night it's a different player, but, you know, players, if he's hot, you got to keep getting it to him. Does he almost go away from the, the offense and just feed him the ball? Um, no, I mean, we go, we go, we have offense, but, you know, they're going to find those spots, and we're going to let them take some tough ones if they're hot like that. you got to live with it. Kind of the depth of this team is what a lot of people are talking about right now. What's it like playing alongside that depth? And is that something you kind of notice when you're out on the court? Like, I could throw the ball anywhere, oh, yeah. and this guy's going to knock it down. Um, yeah, for sure. Like I said, it makes my job easier. I could throw it to anybody, and they're going to, you know, hit a shot. You know, everybody can step out, handle the ball, shoot. It just makes our team really dangerous, like I said before.